This Friday is another Girl Tick update. I know we've been having crazy updates every single Friday for the past three weeks, and it's gonna be four weeks this Friday. So in today's video, I plan to tell you exactly what's gonna be coming with this Friday's update and why you should be absolutely hyped for it. But let me let me try and see if I can make it to the end of this obstacle course and um try not to fail. <laughs> no. <laughs> why can't I make it, bro? I suck. <laughs> I am not fast at this. Alright, so basically, for those of you who do not know, we got an update, and let's just say this one is the scariest update I think Girl Takes ever bring. This next update's gonna match that significantly. So, let's go check out exactly what I mean. Oh, and before we get too sidetracked, let me just show you one thing. They completely revamped Stump, I don't know for the better to be honest, but they have made it look a lot bigger in here. When you first spawn in, you spawn in on this hay bale, and to your left is now the cosmetic changer, as well as the Girl Take code of conduct, and to your right is the drop down to, you know, the mod, well, the caves. Normally, it'd be left and right, but it's opposite now and the mess of days up there and now there's a cutout for the computer and game mode changer thing so it kind of does make stump feel bigger in a way maybe but i feel like they just stretched it horizontally what the heck is that it looks pretty cool <laughs> We also got the new Wet and Wild item shop, which bring back all the old beach cosmetics, as well as three new animated and colorful umbrellas that go very good with almost anyone's fit, and I might be getting that blue umbrella to match this fit. So as you can see, they used this flashback shop to house basically every one of the beach cosmetics, as well as three, well actually four if you include the pickaxe, of the Wild West cosmetics from last year. Also, this these two used to be a part of my uh, old fit on my old account, and so that, that's kind of a cool old secret, I guess. Or not the daily, well I guess the daily tea is still here, as well as the Glam Rock pack which is i mean cool but i'd like to see some new cosmetics and that's why this friday they're gonna be bringing a bunch of new cosmetics as well as a new update and the new horror level why am i saying horror level you're gonna find out in just a second so let's get down there and by down there i mean the secret map it has changed guys so the secret map at the moment is og caves well the most og caves other than the beta and for caves it hasn't changed at all but if you drop down to mines well let's just say it has when you first get down to this fork in the road, you're gonna take the right hand side, the longest side, and it's the longest stretch, so come on. But make sure you do this with a friend because it's kind of creepy and, um, spoiler warning if you haven't seen the update yet. You're gonna take a left right here, and then you're gonna be seeing a secret door. Well, it's not really secret anymore because it's quite literally open and red. When you make your way in here, you can see there's a light facing at me. It looks like something from like an x-ray room or hospital. And then here, and then there's a thing, something that says scan ID. And you cannot stick your hand through unless you have no collide, of course, or mods, but you have to get a secret ID in order to get in. Let's go find it. So there are two current spawn locations for this ID, one being right beside these three boxes and the other inside of this minecart, which is a 99% spawn rate. And as you can see, it is here with LUDs, but I'm just gonna say this is red ink because we do not think this is nothing else than red ink, right guys? Right, right. <laughs> If you analyze the ID very, very closely, you can see it is a black monkey with the mask and the x-ray, or I guess the telescope. Well, I don't even, what, what am I saying? It has like some sort of, oh, what is it called? It's like a light on his head. And people are speculating it's Lemon, like Lemming, sorry, the creative gorilla tag, his gorilla. And it also says no, 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 and it blocks off his name. So we cannot see the name or we cannot scan to see who it actually is, which is kind of sucky if sucky was a word. But I do think they're going to be revealing more and more to what this is because this gorilla tag's new story mode is what I'm going to call it. Quite like other games like Big Scary and Capuchin, they all have horror modes. And gorilla tag caught on and now they're making their own version of it. But this update, we didn't get a monster, which is kind of annoying. But this Friday, guys, let's just say it's going to get a whole lot lot scarier. Let me show you. So all I have to do is scan this ID, uh, open this door, let it close again because it is a decontamination chamber, and the card- oh, I dropped it, I'm sorry guys. Pretty, pretty cool, right? No! I'm sorry I had an outburst like that. Now, let's go over this room. So, you see, this is the first of, I feel like, many rooms in here. I'm just gonna close this, just so we're safer from the other ghosts that's in that mines. And this mines is an alternate version of that mines, except there's a lot of gates. Let me show you. I'm just gonna open every single one of them. And this is the control panel. So, these just control these buttons. So, for example, I've touched every single button, so every door down here should be open by now. Open. Let me check. Open. Open. They're all open. So, this is mines right now. It is still very loose luminescent and not luminescent gloomy and shadowy and scary although there are no ghosts down here at the moment and no reactor and nothing to do it's literally just open doors obstacles and dark and scary like i said but this friday they're gonna be adding a ghost as they i'm pretty sure they said it in a discord and if not i think they said in the message of the day but it also says on the ghost reactor which if you come out of this scary mines is right up in the control room I i'm gonna close this because i'm scared of the ghosts 
And also, the fact that the doors close that very, very slow makes me also very scared because that means the ghost could probably catch up without you locking them out. That's kind of what the doors are for, I assume, is to lock the ghost away. And that's probably also what this is for, so I'm just gonna close all these because I'm like that. But there's a couple things to look in here. First, there's the ghost reactor. This is a machine that tells us whether there are ghosts in here, how many there are, and it'll scan for where it is. So right now it says ghost reactor offline, backup power's on, because right now all the lights and everything are on, which means the backup power's on. Scans indicate dormancy period, which means it is clear of anything. It's literally dormant. Ending soon. Prepare. So we as the player base have to get ready for this ghost. I think the only way to do that is to get familiar with your surroundings, know where the doors are, know how to open the gates, know how to be speedy, and know how to run away from ghosts and spirits that would rather have you in their stomach than say hi to you. I know. Scary, right? Ugh. So this is one of the machines, and I'm assuming this is a cage because you can like stick your hand in it and there's empty space. And now you guys, you're, you're literally locked away. So if you don't subscribe, you're staying in here. Sorry, guys. You didn't subscribe. FBI, open up! Oh, I forgot. There's so many loyal subscribers. I'll take you out. This machine is almost like a test cage where you could put like a rat or some sort of test subject in here. Like my, let's do my chocolate bunny. Put my chocolate bunny in there, lay it down. And then all we do is we press the button on here. I'm assuming a screen would come on and it would do some sort of weird thing to the bunny. Test it, test it, and hopefully it survives. It did survive. Ooh, that's a, that's actually so good, bro. And then this machine seems kind of similar. You put the test subject in here, which they actually completely reuse the um, girl tag plushie. Yeah. And they just reskin the bottom. And then there's a screen here that hopefully will be back on in the next update. So where we can see what's going on. Then this is the betting machine with, I'm assuming, ghost indicators. And then also, I do not know what those things are. They look like some sort of tubes, test tubes. And hopefully we'll be able to order them on the screen and then grab them. And maybe it'll help us fight the ghost down there. And we'll have to like find fix or something to craft it. That'd be kind of cool. And I'd like to see Gorilla Tech add more mechanics to the game. Such as crafting and cool mechanics like that. Maybe even building. So now, I think it's time to go into a public lobby and see if people know what's happening in the game right now and um if they don't then i'm gonna be explaining to them everything also the id hopefully hopefully this means something guys because if it doesn't that'll be sad tell me if you know who this is in the comments also the secret word for today's video is scary because this game is getting scary bro is not waiting for me wait up bro you're not waiting for me i mean that guy gets you no that's my key card oh he's in here Come in, come in. Okay, we need to wait. No, we have to wait for this door to close. All right, open, open. Okay, here's the key card. I think he died. Oh, no, he's down there. Yo, bro, bro. Okay, are all the doors open? Get down, get down. Okay, I have a question. What is this map, and how come there isn't any monsters? Down here? Yeah. Huh? Mom, can we get the thing that the Zeus spells real quick? Uh, oh, your oh. dog's eating something? Okay. Yeah, my dog's eating something. Okay, open all the gates. This is a big gate, actually. People are saying that in my update video, there was um, a face in it, and I did not know that when I recorded, but... And I think the one thing Gorilla Tech could improve if they're watching this video, which I don't think they are, is when people spam the button, only one person should have the right to press it, because people just spam it and open and close it. I think it should be like only one person at a time.